Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about people who take advantage, narcissistic, these, these, these kind of people, take advantage of people who are in crisis situ situation. And I'm going to start off by giving an update on my sister. If you've watched the video about, um, they were in the, uh, harmed by Hurricane Harvey, the water, the floods. And uh, yesterday we were worried about what's going to happen to her, um, the sister that's there. She did get rescued three times. They were moved three times. And uh, the last being last night around 1030. I haven't heard from her so far today. She had said that she hadn't slept for two days, so I'm hoping that she's getting some sleep and also some food from what I understand. Uh, they, at the second place, they didn't have food. I'm not sure at the third place, but um, they don't have cots, I, I believe, something to sleep on and all that. So hopefully they did find ways to help people to, you know, get some sleep. Okay, and the rest of my family and friends there, I have cousins and so forth. Um, they're all okay, last I heard, which was yesterday. Um, so they're all okay. But if you want to watch more, I'm, I'm going to start just only putting it up on my um, vlog-like channel. It's Scattered Thoughts. It's a, a blue circle with scattered thoughts in the inside of it, written type, you know. You know what I'm talking about, saying. But about the um, people taking advantage of people like this, we've probably all heard some things about that. But where I grew up, which is now totally underwater, somebody did a little aerial shot of video, whatever. It's like almost totally underwater. But um, that, that area was also hit after Hurricane Tr Katrina. It was, um, you know, this, this is in Texas. Uh, they were hit by Hurricane Rita. You don't hear all that much about Hurricane Rita, but yeah, they were hit, it was, it was bad. I have property, property there. <clears throat> I wasn't able to go there for a long while. And one of my houses, the way it looked to me was like it both imploded and exploded. And uh, that was a house. And then the other one just had a lot of damage. And that was, you know, how many years ago was that? 12 maybe? Okay, and after that, I, there was another hurricane. I think it was Gustav. And then another smaller one. Anyway, the, the house is just wound up. I, I had them torn down. That was so much damage. And every time, you, you know, they were taken advantage of in that area by the um, um, insurance companies. I was one who protested after I found out that they were basically giving the same amount of, uh, you know, judging, saying this is how much, you know, damage it is for almost like everybody in one particular insurance company. And I threw a major fit because back then my, my job was fighting insurance companies. Yeah, to make them pay claims, but it wasn't homeowners, it was medical, but I knew how to fight them, okay? And I got a lot on, on my properties. And, um, but yeah, that, that's one of, the, one of the things they were taking advantage in. When I see commercials for them, oh my goodness, saying that they're there for you, no, mm -hmm. no. Okay, of course it could have been an isolated incident and the guy that um, was doing my claim, he wound up calling me and telling me I got him fired. And uh, yeah, I did. But yeah, you know, people who take advantage. Now that's not all that I saw during like her, after Hurricane Rita and all that. Um, there was also people who were local even, were, um, you know, people to construction people, people who did remodeling, all these things. They were price gouging. Now from what I understand, I'm Texan, price gouging is illegal in Texas, but, <laughs> They were still doing it anyway because it was so like isolated, you know, that they are isolated quite, you know, quite, you could say that. And, but the, once this is, you know, people can start, you know, remodeling everything, they need more assistance and with, you know, law and order kind of thing to say, you know, check out these places that are price gouging. Check out these people who are price gouging, you know, because these are people who often they don't even know how much it would be. And from what I understand, there's also some kind of scam going on already. And I mean, there's probably more than one, but <clears throat> it's crazy, you know? Okay, now I don't know when that law came into uh, effect about price gouging and everything. And I, I'm hoping that overall people don't even try it, of course, you know? 
But you know, there will always be people who do that. My bigger worry, not really bigger, but um, one of the main ones is about gas prices, especially, you know, mainly for people there. <clears throat> and they're going to need probably for a while gener generators uh, running. They're going to need, um, you know, then there's going to be the price of, re you know, tearing down walls, what is it called, sheetrock. Um, their floors, you know, they, they're, you know, I worry that these places are going to take advantage of it because it was bad back then. Oh, it was bad. Um, you know, they would raise the price so high to get more money because they could. You know, it was basically because they could. I don't know if it came into effect after that or before that, and they just ignored it in this law about price gouging. But, yeah, you know, a lot of people are going to need it because these houses are underwater. Okay, and one, my sister, she lives in a place that is like, I think, the worst there. You can't even say the worst because when you see the pictures and stuff, it's like, it's all, I mean, most of them are bad. Some people actually have their house is a little elevated, so more elevated than the others. Yeah, but um, anyway, I, um, I'm probably going to be talking about this topic in um, on this channel. You know, with the uh, with the theme of this channel, which is mainly narcissism and um, all cluster bees and personalities and you know, things that around it. You know, my anxiety myself. You know, I'm a person who feels a lot of empathy. And although I can only imagine, I can still imagine because I've been in hurricanes before. Nothing, of course, we all know this is the worst ever on the continental USA. Um, but I have been in floodwaters more than once. I have been in a home when the water was up to the, you know, almost getting in. And these are these are on pier and beam. So, beam. so yeah, you know, I've been through that um, when I was a child and even as an adult driving on the highway. Uh, in a hurricane, we didn't have as much warning. Hurricane moved. I'm riding the waves on the highway, kind of thing. And yeah, I've been through that flood, waters, all that. So I'll probably do more about, you know, maybe about people who just take advantage of this stuff and, you know, get some exposure. You know, this, this needs to stop. This really needs, and they need more attention. They need more people. Like I said, people who, <clears throat> you know, whether it's state, local, you know, federal, whatever that are out there protecting these people from this kind of thing. So, especially like even the, you know, it's a collective narcissism, the insurance company. And like I said, it could have been an isolated case. I don't know about that. Anyway, that's enough for this video for now. Uh, if you want to subscribe, click the circle. If you want to watch another video, click one of the rectangles, like, subscribe, comment, share if you want. And my, like I said, my other video, my other channel that's more of a vlog, I'll keep an update on that one is Scattered Thoughts. Okay, I'll talk to you on another video. Bye.